I'm Tim Riley. I'm the president of the Beef Shorthorn Cattle Society, and we're here in the beautiful Calder Valley, which we farm for over 30 years. We have 60 acres or so for the home farm, and then we extend uh, another 40 or so acres further down the valley. We basically focus on the beef shorthorn principally now. So I've been president of the Beef Shorthorn Cattle Society since February, previously vice president, and I've been on the board about seven years or so, I think. So one of the big things for the society is keeping the focus on the cattle and also providing uh, for the interests of our members, whether that be through showing, whether that be through producing uh, animals in an extensive way as we're doing here, but also in terms of support for their product as well. So a big question is why beef shorthorn? I was looking for an animal that would more extensively graze. Uh, I was looking for an animal that would do well on grass. Uh, and I was looking for an animal that was docile and easy to handle. And I also wanted something that fitted with the environment because uh, this particular valley, if you look at paintings from the 1830s, there would be nothing but shorthorns here. You can see the beef shorthorn fitting into a system where really it works for producing really high quality meat on low costs and in a way that actually is good for the environment. For commercial breeders coming in, I think we can offer something that might be slightly lower cost, um, but would be more inclusive. And that would be that we'd think about keeping your cattle on the books. Uh, we'd want to make sure that you are an inclusive part of the society because you're at the cutting edge of where the market is. And that is actually selling the beef to retailers. Morrison Scheme has been a great collaboration between the society uh, and Morrison Supermarket. The Morrison Scheme is great for commercial farmers because it actually provides the opportunity to have cattle with low inputs with a guaranteed market. And the more people that we can get into the Morrison Scheme, the better, because essentially Morrison's demand has increased and they want more shorthorn cattle going into their beef supply chain. Certainly as younger members within farming families come uh, to the breed. There's great opportunities around uh, youth handling schemes and also the youth development work we do, not just at shows, but we also do them through development days on farms where people learn how to present their cattle. We're also trying to get members, younger members, involved in the governance of the society so that it is more open and transparent to the membership, but also gives people a first-hand set of skills. So we're supporting a board apprentice scheme so that younger members can get involved in saying how the society is governed. So for the people that haven't yet got short horns, there's a great future in front of you because this is a breed that is the archetypical British breed that we've exported as a success story and there's a great opportunity for you to be part of that.